Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosalind Kihamba. If you're here for the first time, ensure you click the subscribe button followed by the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any video that comes up. Thank you so much for them that have subscribed, but ensure you also click the notification bell. There are many of you that didn't notice have been away just because you've not clicked the notification bell. That helps you to be notified anytime a new video comes up. I'm very delighted for your support. We are now at 370 and we are headed to greater heights. And I wouldn't have made it this far if it wasn't for you. In today's video, I'd like us to learn some things that came up from last week's passing on of a great icon in this country. And that is the late Bob Colimo. There are so many relationship lessons that we can learn from his life, his association, and the greatest association that came up during this period of mourning was about the boys clubs, the kind of commitment that is required for a relationship or for a friendship to be on its track. And we saw from the kind of sacrifice this, these boys gave their captain, that is Bob, and to some extent they will even sacrifice their resources, their time, their efforts, and all they wanted was that they could see their friend leaving and kicking. For our relationships to thrive, number one, we have to get committed. The second lesson is an observation. There was no mention of God in any of their endeavors. I was watching the JKL show. I kept thinking to myself, maybe they just omitted and it will come up later. And when they announced there will be a memorial service the day that followed, that's the Thursday, I felt like, okay, maybe I'll get to hear something about God in their endeavors and just to confirm my my fears was when pq that is patrick was giving his tribute at some point he said that when they were talking with bob bob asked him that he's not certain of what happens after death that he's not even sure about heaven and earth and he does not know what follows after one dies i'll put that video on my description so that you can watch and get to understand what i'm saying so it really saddened my heart that after having a circle of friends that helped you in each and every way they failed him at his most vulnerable moment. In Hebrews 9.27, the word of God says that it is appointed for man to die once and after that, judgment. So he was clear about what happens, that we have to die, that even, you know, he was even lucky to know how to, how many days are left. You know, that is a mystery for most of us. We never know when we'll die. But according to the word of God, it's an assurance that we will die and after that there is judgment. One thing that I learned when it comes to relationships is that we should be able to have friends that point us to Christ. We should have friends that are godly. A story in Mark chapter 2 verse 1 to 12 and it's the story of a paralytic man. This man Want, this man was sick, paralyzed on his bed, and his four friends managed to bring him before Christ. And you know, the, the room was so full, they could not get through the door, and they managed to commit and sacrifice to break through the roof and present this man to Jesus. And what followed is something that really brings out the importance of having friends that can build you up spiritually and jesus told him that your sins are forgiven why because he saw the faith of his friends i mean if i can have a group of friends 
that will point me to Christ to an extent that even I'll be healed on the basis of their faith. I mean, that will just be an investment. There goes my two lessons that I learned that I wanted to share with you. Hope this video has helped you. Ensure to give it a thumbs up. Ensure to comment and also subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. Goodbye. See you in my next video.